With The Clone Wars Season 7 Episode 6 releasing on Disney+, Plus, many fans were left wondering how Anakin Skywalker could be on Coruscant at this point in the war, while still being seemingly excited to see Padme after so much time had passed in Revenge of the Sith. If Anakin was on Coruscant this soon before the reunion scene in Revenge of the Sith, why did he not have contact with Padme? Is this a major inconsistency in the timeline or is there an explanation to this issue? So before we get into it, remember to subscribe, leave a like and comment down below as all of that stuff helps the channel grow. On top of various other conflicting pieces of information coming out of Clone Wars Season 7, like Anaxis and Skako Minor being switched from Core Worlds to being part of the infamous Outer Rim Sieges, the appearance of Anakin on Coruscant during the Ahsoka Alone arc shocked many fans. As we saw in Revenge of the Sith, Anakin and Padme were ecstatic to see each other after such a long period of time apart, with Anakin out fighting in the Outer Rim sieges for many months. Seeing as Padme was visibly pregnant in her hologram communication with Anakin in Episode 1 of the Bad Batch arc, that would squarely place the arc during the Outer Rim sieges as stated in the episode and only just prior to his return to Coruscant. So if Clone Wars Season 7 is taking place in chronological order, this would mean that Anakin would have had to have returned to Coruscant prior to his rescue of Chancellor Palpatine in Revenge of the Sith, creating a major conflict with the movie and directly contradicting the line where he states, There are a few solutions to this problem with only one of them resulting in no conflict with the current timeline. The first possibility is that Anakin has been granted leave or has possibly been reassigned back to Coruscant after the Battle of Anaxis. It is possible that his mission or assignment on Coruscant required his presence on the planet to remain hidden, even from Padme. This would still contradict his statement in Revenge of the Sith, unless of course he was lying to Padme about his whereabouts during their time apart. To be honest, this solution really doesn't make sense and contradicts a significant portion of canon material, including Revenge of the Sith. So to be honest, I don't think it's a viable option and I really do think that this is not the way that they've gone with it. The other possibility, which makes a lot more sense and would fit with how the rest of the Clone Wars has been released, is that the Ahsoka Alone arc is set not long after her framing and exile from the Jedi Order, in Season 5 of the Clone Wars, placing it firmly before the Bad Batch arc. Having this arc set only a few months after Ahsoka's exile would fit perfectly with Anakin still being on Coruscant, and also not leave Ahsoka with a huge gap in her timeline. If this arc takes place during the Outer Rim sieges, what was Ahsoka doing for all the time between her exile and Revenge of the Sith? She's clearly still naive and not very knowledgeable about the way of life on Coruscant Underground level 1313, further demonstrating that she is still very new to life in the underworld. With Clone Wars Season 7 Episode 6, Deal or No Deal, came a whole range of evidence to strengthen the fact that this arc takes place before the Bad Batch arc. First off, the leader of the Pike Syndicate in the Ahsoka Alone arc is Marg Krim. This confirms that the arc takes place before the Dark Disciple story, where Marg Krim is killed by the fleet of the Black Sun, a rival crime syndicate. It also obviously must take place before the Son of Dathomir storyline, where Krim's second in command becomes the new leader of the Pike Syndicate after his death. Taking this information into account, in addition to the Padme hologram scene from Episode 2 of the Bad Batch arc, where Anakin mentions that they are currently fighting in the Outer Rim sieges, the arc would have to take place well before the Bad Batch storyline. The Ahsoka Alone arc would be placed after the Crystal Crisis arc, where Anakin and Obi-Wan are tasked with investigating a large shipment of kyber crystals on Utapau, which would later be used as fuel for the Death Star, but would be placed before the Dark Disciple story following Asajj Ventress's redemption. The only thing that detracts from this theory is that Ahsoka definitely looks like her leku and cheek markings have grown, meaning a significant amount of time may have passed. This of course can be explained simply through advancements in the animation technology of Season 7 of The Clone Wars, but it is something to think about. So overall, it's overwhelmingly likely that this arc takes place before the Bad Batch arc, and it's probably only a matter of time before someone from the Lucasfilm story group or even Dave Filoni himself confirms that this is the case. I hope I was able to clear up the confusion surrounding the episode and provide a solid explanation of the current Star Wars The Clone Wars Season 7 timeline. Thanks so much for watching, remember to smash the subscribe button and leave a like on the video to help this explanation reach as many people as possible. Thanks again for watching, cheers guys!